Hello Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for you at the time you are watching this reading. Any messages or advice, who or what is showing up around you. Always take what's resonating and leave out the rest. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all social media. I am spiritually bold in all platforms. And if you are interested in a personal read done by me, all of that info will be in the description box below for you all with the link to my website for you to view the different options for readings. Okay, Scorpio, let's take a look. We have the Nine of Swords, the Two of Swords, King of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups. Okay, and the Seven of Swords at the bottom. So, you, some of you have been really going through a lot of like stress or, or panic. So I feel like there's something you've been panicking about here. And with the Seven of Swords, it does feel like maybe something was taken from you or you feel like you have been deceived in some way. Somebody has maybe stolen something from you, whether it's like finances, sex, like something here where you feel you're, you're starting to feel like something like you were kind of done wrong and you're now you're having regrets over a situation. Okay. Why the nine of swords? Why are you stressing? Why are you stressing? Okay. Three of swords and the hierophant. And the Nine of Cups at the bottom. So, Scorpio, I'm seeing you feeling really disappointed over something that you had a lot of um, hope for, something that made you really happy. It feels like, for some of you, feel like it was, it was taken away from you. And things have suddenly changed. Like, this, whatever this means is, is meaning that your lifestyle will kind of be different. Your lifestyle will, be, will change. Your, everything that you do on a day-to-day -day basis are, is going to be different, okay? But the thing is, the thing is, this is meant to level you up in a way. This is a met, a meant to actually help you grow into this King of Wands energy. So this is really you stepping up and empowering yourself and not letting panic or fear stop you from living your life okay i'm seeing expansion you are about to expand possibly in the winter months here so winter is coming up um it says what you desire will manifest in the winter months also a time of solitude survival and quiet reflection so you if you have been in this like period of solitude survival or reflection this is a sign that things are about to manifest for you i'm also seeing someone traveling somewhere cold like a place where they have all four seasons um going somewhere at a distance that is cold for some but this is really just showing that you not allow, no you not allowing your fear or anxiety stop you is actually you breaking your own limits in a, in a way where any limit that you've put on yourself is being completely um destroyed so you're dissolving your limitations and making great progress reaching new heights of what's what's possible you're literally about to reach new heights of what is really possible for you more than you even realized, more than you even imagined to be. And it's all because it's all because you are. It feels like faith over fear. You're choosing to have faith over fear. You're choosing to take action regardless of the fear, regardless. It's like doing something scared. Do it scared, do it unmotivated, do it bored, do it um, it's, Do it uh, when you're sad. It's like, regardless, you're taking action towards the things that you want. And of course, you're going to get your Ten of Cups. Okay? Manifesting. Yeah, the things that you want require actions, even when, you, even when it seems scary. And... You are going to be a huge inspiration. 
You are going to be a huge inspiration. I see people being really inspired by you. It says your ideas are divinely inspired, blessing you with creative insights to serve a cause greater than yourself. An inspiration to others. You are literally about to be an inspiration to others. Um, like your struggle or your suffering is, is like an inspiration story. Is a success story. It's part of your success story. The suffering that you had to go through is what's leading you to this Ten of Cups. The lessons, the hardship, the the worry. It, it's all. It was all there to shape you and mold you. I'm seeing clay. Uh, maybe some of you are really into clay, but this is literally what I'm seeing. Is like you are clay. You are being molded into something here something big, something solid. Listen, <laughs> you have big things. You're about to reach new heights, new levels, new manifestations that you didn't even think were possible. The magician, literally. This is the King of Wands and the magician. You are about to be a person of many talents. A person of many talents, a person that is like the ma the manifesting generator in their life here, creating things, um, taking your power and taking action towards the things that you want. If there's a will, there's a way. You're finding you're finding a way through something right now, and I feel like there may be something that you give or you something that you are investing in with this ace of pentacles i see this as like you giving something and it feels like instead of you kind of receiving something you're kind of giving something away in the re in, in, with the thought of this being something that will bring you a, a return of investment but you will get your happy your happy ever after why winter? What's coming up in the winter for you? What's coming up in the winter for you? Ooh, dominion. You're about to be very dominant. <laughs> you're the master of your domain, which may intimidate others. Yeah, you're, you're about to be pretty t intimidating to others. The way that you are expanding, the way you're growing, there's this like intimidation about you. Stay calm and observe. Why, why am I hearing King of the Jungle? <laughs> but it, it just, it's like you're, you are really um, stepping into this like authority, dominant energy. When I see this line, I think of like strength. I think of you having certain strengths within you and endurance within you to keep going. To keep going you're manifesting rapidly your dreams and goals are becoming a reality stay focused yeah you're you are being called to stay focused now more than ever now more than ever is time to lock in scorpio okay so it seems like as you're taking action others have stopped others have stopped you may be dealing with somebody who is um a little indecisive about something that maybe you've, you're trying to offer them. Why the Two of Swords? Three of Wands. Someone's indecisive about um, whether or not things will end up progressing here with you, whether or not that... Yeah, it, it feels like they're kind of waiting for more clarity to make a decision to grow with you. They're waiting, yeah. This is the energy of this person kind of waiting to see some sort of action from you to make a decision about whether or not to put the work in here with you. If you do have someone in mind, think of them. Let's take a look and see how they feel about you. Okay, what just came out? We have the Nine of Wands in the world. So you have someone here who is feeling a little bit exhausted from fighting 
for fighting for some sort of completion here, okay? You have someone who is feeling like a, a chapter that you two have maybe even been struggling in is about to complete itself. So they're, they're feeling like you two are soon getting to a place where things won't be as hard. Six of Cups, yeah, and the Fool, the Knight of Pentacles. So this person has intentions of seeing you again. Uh, maybe this could also be an apology for something. This is them wanting to be with you. They want to be with you. They want to heal things even if there has been a lot of hard times that you two have been having with each other but there is this energy of them wanting to still take a leap of faith with you towards a, a better place but they, they see you as being cautious right now so they see you as um taking your time why the fool reverse the wheel of fortune okay so they want to turn this situation around in a positive direction with you and they want to take that they, they want to bring in like lighthearted energy and be very optimistic about things but i do see that their actions kind of slowed down this could also be this person wanting to take an adventure with you, a new adventure that's going to bring you both a lot of happiness and joy, but they're, they're seeing you as kind of pacing yourself right now. Why the Knight of Pentacles is how they're seeing you. Being very cautious, focusing, focused on other things right now. They see that maybe you've even slowed down in communication. And they feel like you you have a lot of other responsibilities that you're giving to. Hmm. But I do feel like something about this cycle is coming to its completion where things are, are going to get easier. And Ten of Cups. Oh, Ten of Cups. This is like that ultimate happiness. Night of... Ooh proposal love offers romantic gestures for something long term somebody um, expressing through actions their desire for you long term this is like a long term love offer wanting to settle down that's manifesting here for you um, this is also like your ultimate happy, happiness just by following your heart, following your your intuition rather than your fears. Okay, I'm seeing the numbers 9, 2, 1, 10. Those numbers could be synchronicities, special days. I'm seeing the letters I, N, S, X, P, E, R, H. Those letters could be in your name or someone else's. But with that said, this is what I'm seeing. If it did resonate, let me know. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. And I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Bye, Scorpio.